used to be a calendar car and now look so it's February 6th and springtime is quickly approaching and the Mustang needs a new color so today we're gonna start the current paint on it is Autoflex it's taken a pretty bad beating it's been on here for almost four years we've had some pretty good times but you can see that the Sun's bleaching away the clear coat and there's a bunch of rough spots so today we're gonna start trying to get this off it's probably gonna be a pain in the ass because it's Four years old it was pretty much the same deal with the skyline also the base paint on this car is not factory it was resprayed a few years ago so the paint is really in bad shape too so this is going to be a nightmare this is probably going to take me a month to just get the color off and while we're trying to clean it up and everything maybe we'll pick a color not sure if we're going to do autoflex plastic dip or paint yet but uh we'll decide that as we're cleaning it up i guess so some of the thinner spots we were able to clean it up with this adhesive remover that's made by 3m i found this at napa auto Park. It was kind of expensive. It seems to work. It kind of smells like goof off, so it's probably the same thing as goof off. But as far as getting the thinner spots clean, it seems to be pretty useful for that. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't get rid of the gel coat that's on my hood because that would really suck. The best stuff to use would be this Autoflex top coat remover, but they don't make this anymore and it's really hard to find. So, if you can find some of it and you have this issue, buy it immediately. This is the only cord of this stuff that I have. Another good thing to use is a 3M eraser wheel. This thing came in handy with the Skyline. We were able to just put this on a drill and just kind of rip up the old Autoflex. Another product we have is 99% isopropyl alcohol. This stuff is hard to find too, but I found it on Amazon. It seems to get rid of the top coat. So we're going to switch between all these different chemicals and methods and try to get this thing clean. And then, like I said, decide what we're going to do. Paint, Autoflex, vinyl. I really don't know yet. this paint chip and a bunch of other spots that I'm already seeing before I even peel the rest of the car I'm pretty much making a decision now that we're just gonna paint it I really wanted to do plastic dip or some of the auto flex that I had laying around because it's free material but this is not going well already and I'm not sure how much of the rest of the car is gonna be messed up this car was resprayed so it's not totally the auto flex's fault but <laughs> This old school Autoflex does suck. So even the stuff that I have laying around, I think I'm just gonna dispose of it somewhere, like dump it or try to sell it because this old Autoflex stuff sucks. It thins out with the sun and it doesn't want to peel. This did have candy concentrate with it, but still, this is uh, this is bad already. This is gonna be a long month. At least I don't have to rush with this one like I did with the Skyline, so maybe this will turn out a little bit better. You just gotta pick a color and then we're gonna stick with it and uh, yeah, maybe I should just take it to a professional. No, nah, we're not doing that. I guess we'll just take it apart and then start sanding and trying to get the old Autoflex off and we'll go from there. and not much progress but it's getting there just like i thought nothing was going to peel it's all just stuck on there there was one spot that i found that peeled because it was protected by the wing so there was a little bit of uv protection but i'm pretty sure everything else is going to have to be rubbed off or chemically dissolved this is also a really old rtr panel and if you know anything about these rtr panels they do start to get rust and uh mine's got a little bit of rust so that's another reason to just paint the whole car might actually take these windows out because it's gonna be hard to get in here this trim comes off i don't want to pull the windshield but i don't know i might research how to get that out
little bit of progress, I guess. But for how long I've put into this so far, I feel like I've barely made a dent. So I think the key to this is going to be to use the rubber wheel to get the clear off and then use the dip dissolver to get the base off. It's going to be very time consuming. I can feel it. I guess we're making a little bit of progress. We did a little bit of disassembly too, so. Uh, I guess we'll come back tomorrow and do some more stuff. This is getting to the point where I'm just going to start sanding. With the Skyline, the Autoflex did not want to sand off because it's kind of rubbery. It almost protects the underlying paint, which is good, until you want to take it off and it's not coming off. So we're going to start with 100 grit. I think on the Skyline, I was using something even more aggressive. I think I started with 80. I got a lot of 100 grit, so we're going to try to do the fiberglass hood. We don't want to sand through the fiberglass gel coat or anything, so we're going to try to be careful with that. I'm pretty much dead set on paint at this point because the car is just so beat up. This fender also took a hit, so this needs to be fixed and touched up anyway. If not replaced, I should really just replace this one. It's even sunken in a little bit here, but because this is a drift car now, I'm trying to save every panel I can. I don't want to buy a nice new fender and then this thing get hit or tap into a tire or something to get messed up anyway. We're just going to go ahead and start sanding, see how it goes. Like I said before, this whole car has been repainted, and you can really see how thin that clear and that black was sprayed. I took it to a place that's no longer in business, and I guess they had some guys that just really sucked, because there's like no paint on this. Sandpaper barely touched here, and it's like one layer of clear and one layer of black, I guess, because it's, it's already down to primer. Just another reason to repaint it. The only part that I'm not sure about is the roof. The roof is getting pretty bad. It's the original paint. This is the only panel that I haven't really sprayed. I think I sprayed it once. I did do splatter over top of it, but this is still the only original factory black panel because the hold it keyed it didn't key the roof. I guess he was some short little Kevin, so he couldn't even reach the roof, but that's the only one he didn't key. Every other panel's been keyed and resprayed, so. <laughs> Looks like we're already getting down to bare metal. This is just going to be bad. This is just bad, bad, bad. I can't believe this. This is terrible. So with that said, I think I'm done with removable coatings forever. The Autoflex is more durable than a gel coat too. It's not as bad as the paint, but you can definitely see more white dust and you can see Autoflex dust, so yeah. <laughs> my life. Bing bong! Try a fresh wheel. I hate winter time, but at least it's convenient for when I need to get my hands a little clean. If there's chemicals and stuff on my fingers. I can go ahead and just grab some snow. I'm all clean now, and I can't feel my hand. The end of day three is done. We still got a lot of stuff to do and a lot of ways to go. I feel like we're only about a tenth of the way into this. It sucks that we're going to do all this and then have to sand it down anyway. But I guess that's just the way it is. I've had a lot of good experiences with Plastidip and Autoflex and other removable coatings. Plastidip especially, but this Autoflex stuff is uh, it's not going well. And probably never touching the stuff ever again. Plastidip dip it's not a big deal because you can just use dip dissolver or just some WD-40 and clean it up, but this stuff is just bad. This is just terrible. All I can do is rubber wheel it and it's taking forever. I'm done for today. We made some pretty good progress though. I can finally see some black and a little bit of the white on the door. Shoes are filthy. 
plastic scrapers came in handy for the metal parts at least. I'm gonna go home for tonight. It's like seven o'clock, tired. Headed hard tomorrow. Day number, I don't know, 365 of trying to get this off. Uh, pretty close. You see the door's clean-ish. Spots like the door, I think I'm just gonna sand that down, like all these little pieces. I don't think it's worth it to try to rubber wheel to where we see nothing but white, because it's all getting painted anyway. And we're gonna seal this all in with primer. But today, we're gonna try to get the bumper done and maybe start sanding finally, because I really wanna get this thing done. I'd like to paint next weekend, but we'll see how that goes. I guess we gotta see how today and tomorrow go, really. I'm probably gonna tape up the engine bay today, because this is getting really dusty. I don't want any sand and dust to get around here, and in the air filter, obviously. Let's get started with the time lapse. Quarter window is about ready to come out. I didn't film much of it because I was getting pretty frustrated. I used this thing from Harbor Freight and that thing from Home Depot because Harbor Freight was sold out of heat guns. And also the metal string set up from Harbor Freight. This actually cut through the last bit. I was so frustrated with this that I didn't even want to do the other side, but we're getting the string through from the back side actually wound up being a lot easier once I got a little bit of heat on it and then just kind of worked my way through. I'm sure it ruined the paint in the corners, but we're painting the car, so it's fine. So let's go ahead and take the window out now. I think the window has been taken out before. Maybe that's why the glue was extra hard on this. I really don't know, but I'm gonna try to not break this. See all this sticky stuff on the back. I guess we're gonna try to clean this up and save it. I don't know how much it is for these quarter windows. I might even look it up and see if I could just buy new ones. Cause this is a lot of glue. And it's going to be a lot of glue here, too. I think there'd be a better way. In case anybody needs to know how to take this door handle off. There's like two 10 millimeter bolts up in here. Probably not gonna be something you could see. Also, there's a clip that goes onto the lock rod that needs to be taken off. It's that pink clip right there that just kind of unsnaps off of the rod that has like the threads on it. Just kind of clamps around there. This just unsnaps easy enough on that one. Two 10 millimeter bolts up there. They're kind of hard to get to. See one there, one there. But if you have a quarter inch ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket, you should be able to get in there. Don't cut yourself. When you get your hardware out, just throw it in a random spot in the car. Don't put it in any kind of baggies and label it. Be a man. I think, I don't know if these handles have ever been pulled off. I think they have been when the car was repainted. I'm not sure how thorough they were. I keep finding tape lines in random spots. 
There it goes. Oh god. My RTR decolate panel has been on the car since 2013. I got it done at Carlisle. That was when I first met Bowen. I guess some people had an issue where theirs would rust. Mine has been holding up pretty dang well, considering. I mean, this thing's been to Ocean City a bunch of times and went coast to coast and was on Bonneville, Salt Flats, and like, it, it's just taken some abuse. And it's held up pretty well, but I do have a couple rust spots here, like a, a chip or two here and some scratches there. It's starting to get a little rough here. I could buy a new RTR panel, but this one's kind of sentimental, so I'm gonna try to repair this. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I mean, a new one's only like 270 bucks, but that's 270 bucks that I really don't have in the budget, to be honest. So we're gonna try to take this off, sand down all the rough spots, and try to repaint this. I might even try to do it a different color. I like the black, and I think it's gonna break up the color when it's on, but maybe I'll try to do this in like a silver. I don't know. We're, we're gonna think about that. But to take this off, we're gonna throw some heat on it and some fishing string, and it should come off, they just stick on. That'll be the first time this panel's been exposed since 2013. Always wear your gloves. the car's clean enough where I can start sanding. Uh, we're gonna use the Milwaukee DA, kill a bunch of batteries today. Front fender had a couple dents on it, so I might try to put a little bit of putty on these and like sand this, make it look pretty. Cause uh, that's one spot that was always a little, a little messed up and kind of bothered me. I need to find all my body hammers. I actually think I need to hammer this in a little. And there was like a spot back here that's kind of dented in a little bit. Maybe I'll try to do something with that. We're gonna have to throw a little bit of tape around the windows. That way we don't get a ridiculous amount of dust inside the car. Probably should have did that while I was cleaning up all the auto flex, but we're gonna have to clean the interior out anyway. And I'm gonna get some new seats, so I might wind up taking the carpet out and stuff. I don't know. Not sure what we're doing with the interior of the car yet. We'll tape off the quarter window. I really wanted to fill these holes for the antennas because I only listen to Spotify when I'm driving around. I don't really use any terrestrial radio anymore because it's terrible. Same thing with the XM antenna. I don't pay for XM. We gotta sand this chip down, get this nice and flat. It's a couple spots back here. There's this hole here. I don't know why the factory puts that hole there, but I had one from the factory. It might be for like a harness for a third brake light if you wanted one on the wing or something. I don't know. But I thought about trying to fill this and weld it up and stuff. But we can just put a plug in there like we've had for the last four years, five years. Yeah, we got to tape up the doors and stuff. This fender over here had a big chip in it from when the shark mouth got pulled off. And I think we might do some new emblems. And I, don't, I don't know. We got a lot to do still. I still want to be able to hose this off once it's all sanded down. I should probably hose it off before I start sanding, but it is like 40 degrees out right now. It's really cold, and this thing, I can't really drive it to my house or to the car wash. We're just going to have to hose it out at the shop, and uh, I don't even know if the water's on. So, yeah, uh, we're just going to start sanding. We're probably going to go through a lot of disc. So, time lapse now. to hose this thing off. Hopefully it starts. God, it's dusty in here. What a mistake. Oh, what a sad, sad car. Still looks good though. I could leave it like this. It's still break necks. start so I can put it back in the garage. Yeah. Oh, that's so dirty. Really shouldn't have bought this tire machine. I haven't used it yet and it's just taking up a lot of space. That thing too. And that thing. 
cleaning up garages is boring, so I'm not gonna film that. I'll see you when we're like taping up and stuff, I guess. We're gonna end the video right there because this has been a long ways into this. This was a really lengthy process. It took way too long. I'm pretty excited about the color. I guess the next video will be the painting and all that. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I'll show you a really quick preview. If it's black and white, I'm sorry. I changed my mind. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be that one right there. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna get started on the primer because it's a weeknight and I'm tired and I gotta go to work tomorrow and I really still wanna get this thing done by the weekend. So yeah, so yeah, I guess next time put the polarizer back on. Hope you guys had a good day and stuff. Cause I, I'm, a, I'm about to have a slightly crappier one cause I'm gonna be spraying primer and I'm sleepy. But anyway, now uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for hanging out, appreciate it. Please like, subscribe and Stay tuned for this color. It's going to be really cool. Here is a real preview for you if you watched this whole video.